we came together today to bless our the park area um, so that we can begin our our cleanup cleanup of the debris and the uh, green waste as well as all the um, concrete and railings and stuff that had uh, we lost during the storm so this was in here as well the water brought all this down through here this this is a new stream bed that came right through our loop trail and the former former lower loop trail is what it was called up above we leave our park boundary and it becomes Wailuku Water Company's property I'm not sure what type of work they plan on doing uh, as far as debris removal probably the best way to describe it is uh, small pieces will be removed um, from the area that was damaged uh, fortunately for us we have experience here having worked up here a few times uh, so i'm very knowledgeable of the area challenging for us is getting all of that debris from that side of the river over here into the parking lot and the idea is to just bring it out in small sections stage it here and then once it's all staged take it to the the refuge site that was um, talked Temporary about debris yeah, site. that that's site um, yeah. It's going to take about six to ten men, probably six to eight weeks, to get all the material over here. And we'll use various pieces of equipment. Some of them are behind us today. Uh, but it still just comes down to just uh, a lot of men moving small pieces of material slowly across the bridge. And we have some other creative ways that we want to do it too. So that's basically it in a nutshell. Uh, the county has numerous pieces of equipment that are currently in the river that are doing some work to uh, protect some of our infrastructure. Um, you'll see that there are you know, pieces of equipment down at Kipani Wai at the bridge there, removing rocks so that we can ensure the, uh, the safety of the facilities that we have in that particular area. And as Larry was saying, you know, what's done up here you know, really does have an impact as we go further down the stream. And so we want to thank Larry for coordinating with us, working closely with the county, and uh, really just to protect uh, property and lives. So thank you very much to State DLNR. You know, being that the county park is below us, you know, it's a... We also have to respect their their project as well because if we open up our park first, we don't want people entering into the county facilities or county park when they're not prepared for it. So, you know, we we will work alongside the county in order to, you know, basically for public safety. Basically, we ended up getting swept downstream. Um, so there's significant damages to the park. It's going to take probably. I don't know, six to eight months before we can actually um, have that facility reopen. At least that's what the Parks Department is telling us this time. But uh, obviously we'll be working closely with the state. If they're able to open up their park sooner, uh, we might have to put in some protective measures to keep people out of our park uh, while we continue to work on that. But um, again, we'll be working closely with the state. There are a lot of people that are wondering, you know, why we just don't get in there and do certain things. But we're finding that as we're trying to get the federal funding as we're trying to get the state trying to get the help that we need there are rules that we have to follow in order to be able to work in the stream there are rules that we have to follow there are principles that we have to be able to look at and we have to be structurally sound when we do things and cause an in effect for what we do upstream how it impacts downstream and vice versa the sequencing and the timing all become very critical as well.